In this video, we are going to be learning about statistical units and how to classify them. In statistics, the objects or entities being measured or observed are generally referred to as statistical units. For example, in a study measuring the heights of students in a class, each student is a statistical unit. Simple. However, statistical units can mean many other things and can be more specific. In general, Statistical units can be broadly divided into two types depending on what stage of inquiry or research you are in, either during the data collection or data analysis and interpretation stage. So you can either have the unit of collection or units of analysis and interpretation. The unit of collection refers to individual element or member of the population that data is being collected from. For example, if data is collected at the level of schools, then our unit of collection is each individual school that the data is collected from. The unit of collection can further be divided into two, depending on how the data is collected. So we can have a unit of enumeration if the data is collected from counting or a unit of recording if some particular measurement is obtained from the unit. So the unit of enumeration refers to individual elements or members of a population that is counted during data collection. You know the word enumeration means counting. So for example, in a census, each person is a unit of enumeration. As for the unit of recording, it refers to the level at which data is recorded or collected. Think of this in terms of variables. So for example, if in a survey we record the total income of households, so what is being recorded is the income, say, in Naira, right? So the unit of recording is the income of each household in Naira. This unit of recording can either be simple units or composite units. Simple units, when what is measured or recorded is basic, single, and cannot be broken down into smaller units. For example, the age of respondents in a survey. So this is just one type of variable and is not a combination of variables, hence the word simple unit. But for composite units, the units are made up of multiple simple units combined together to make some higher meaning. And these may be either compound units or complex units. When the units involve more than one type of measurement or characteristic, it is called a compound unit. For example, a vehicle's efficiency measured as miles per gallon. This is a compound unit since it involves both distance in miles and volume in gallons. And then we have the complex units. These are much more than compound units. They are derived from more intricate or multifaceted processes, often involving multiple dimensions or criteria. For example, an index like the Consumer Price Index, CPI, that combines various prices of goods and services into a single measure is a complex unit. On the other hand, we have the unit of analysis and interpretation. This refers to the primary unit that has been analyzed and interpreted in a study. Here we can have rates, ratios, percentages, and coefficients. And all these are often used to interpret data. Let's start with the rate. The rate is a measure of the occurrence of a particular event within a specified period of time. For example, the birth rate. This is the number of births per 1,000 people per year. So we can see it as a particular occurrence per a specific time period. For the ratio, this is a relationship between two numbers, indicating how many times the first number contains the second number. For example, the ratio of males to females in a population might be 1.05 to 1. So this simply means that for every 105 males, there were 100 females in the study. Rate. For percent, it is a part or a fraction of a whole expressed in hundreds. For example, if we say 25 out of 100 students in a class will get a first class grade, then 25% of the students are first class materials. I hope you two watching this video will be among the first class guys. All right, and finally we have the coefficient. This is simply a numeric value that represents the relationship between two variables in a statistical model. And I'll give you an example here. In a statistical analysis, the coefficient indicates how much one variable is expected to change for each unit change in another variable. So for example, if the coefficient of height in inches for predicting weight in kilograms is 2.3, what this simply means is that for each additional inch in the height of an individual, his weight is expected to increase by 2.3 kilograms. Easy peasy. So to recap, statistical units can be broadly classified into the units of collection and units of analysis and interpretation. The unit of collection can further be divided into two, unit of enumeration and the unit of recording. The unit of recording 
can be either simple or composite and the composite can either be compound or complex on the other hand the units of analysis and interpretation in most times we have rates ratios percentages or coefficients and these help us to interpret data now let's see your level of understanding of the concept of statistical units by this simple scenario please put your responses in the comment section below and do not ignore here we go dr amaru bidon a public health specialist is carrying out a public health survey on smoking habits and respiratory health. The main objective is to study the relationship between smoking habits and respiratory health among adults in Zaria City, Kaduna State, Nigeria. He intends to collect data from each adult regarding their smoking habits and respiratory health status. He is going to be asking questions about their smoking habits, for example, the number of cigarettes smoked per day or how long they have been smoking in years. He wants to combine multiple variables to develop a score that represents the entire respiratory health of each individual. He is also interested in determining the pack years of smoking, which combines the number of packs of cigarettes smoked per day with the number of years a person has smoked. He is broadly interested in creating an overall health risk index for respiratory diseases that combines factors such as smoking habits, environmental exposures, and genetic predisposition. At the end of this survey, he wants to know the following. The number of respiratory illnesses per 100 adults per year in the surveyed population. The number of smokers to non-smokers in the survey population. The proportion of survey participants who reported smoking more than 10 cigarettes per day. And a coefficient for predicting respiratory health scores. So let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 units. So here's the question. Identify the statistical units in Dr. Omar's study in terms of the unit of enumeration, unit of recording, simple units, composite units, compound units, complex units, and the unit of analysis and interpretation in terms of rates, ratio, percent, or coefficient. Now go ahead and put your answers in the comment section below and please do not ignore. I can't wait to see your interesting answers and interact with you in the comments. Awesome. Now, if you've gained value with this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see similar videos like this in the future, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications. Check out this video here if you want to see many examples of statistical units in real world situations. And this other video here if you want to get a more detailed description and understanding of statistical units. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.